Hello everyone, this is Ani and welcome to Red Electricity episode 14, the series where I tamper around with redstone and other Minecraft mechanics. In this video, I'm going to show you a, what do you call it, clockless stone generator. This is a clockless stone generator. You break it, it operates. It right now operating, it's a stone generator clockless because clocks lag up servers, some servers, and let's be honest here, a clockless design is much better than a, than a clock design because they lag, lag up the server, and a smooth stone is better than a cobble generator because they break slightly faster, ever so slightly. So if you're going on a large stone mining spree, you can see it, but you know, from a, if you're breaking just one stone, it's not going to be apparent that much. So. In this video, I'm going to show you the block by block building of the device and the next video, I'm going to explain it. So if you're looking for the explanation, it's not here. This is how you build the thing. So first you have to build a bud. This is the bud. Next, you have to build the smart bud. This concept is taken from an YouTuber named the Wyo and his channel link as well as the link to his video where he uses a smart bud to build a kick-ass ice generator will be in the description so you can check it out so what's this thing all about well what is a smart bud when a pi block appears here it's gonna push it ahead that my friend is a smart bud and we're going to use this to generate the stone right here so it's going to do it this is the trowel for the water also one thing uh, the stones going to generate here so the maximum distance a piston can push is 12 blocks so your final block is going to be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 this is your maximum distance of the stone generator let's keep that there to avoid the water from spilling out also one more thing when you're building this don't have lava bucket in your hand because frankly it's way too much effort like seriously you this is the third time i'm trying to build this because it's freaking horrible the lava constantly spills everywhere and just you know not not fun it's not cool and remember to block this thing in case the lava do spill out you can easily clean it up i'll show you how to clean it up in case you do spill it like a total noob just kidding i spilled it all the time it wasn't fun <sighs> it was not fun in the slightest oh that needs to be there okay so this is the lava trough and this is the water trough water tr going to go there lava is going to go there but we are going to block the lava so once it fully operates it's going to block there come on get out and we are going to create an ant gate to operate this piston bang bang so whenever this lever is on the torch is off and the generator is on levers off generators off so we are going to draw an AND gate here from the maximum distance to show you that the maximum distance is approachable but you can have it from anywhere you like let's have the stone there stone there that's how we're going to have it There we go. This is done. And that's built. Now, obviously, you can place the redstone torch wherever you want to get the output from. So if you want the stone generator to stop right here, just place it like so. You can break this and the stone generator will stop here. That's just the maximum distance. So just to show you how it works. So now the stone generator is operational. So you can put in just ensure before putting in that there is no holes where the lava can spill out doesn't appear to be the case okay so now we are going to place the water first always place the water first it's going to bud once is that leaking no it's not wow <laughs> i tried this is the third time i'm trying to build this and the first two times i totally messed up with the design so right now it stopped it can get messy sometimes and the lava will at most destroy the redstone. It, you can easily take care of it by just destroying the lava source. Oh, it's 
take care of that. And the moment it's going to reach the final, it... As you can see, and the lava stops right there. We need to stop the lava, otherwise it will fall, spill onto the redstone, and... Uh-oh. And we also need to stop the lava because if another stone block appears there, the lava is going to fall on there and destroy the redstone again. What happens when the lava destroys the redstone? Well, say the lava has poured in right there and you just press this piston to extend. Break it here. The lava will be here. Just place a block to replace the lava. Replace the redstone. Place the glass block back in. And there is your lava. Now, to show you that this... Can right now, this is operating. So... If I take it off, it's going to increase. There we go. So now to show you that it indeed does work, the red, the switch works. There we go. Turn it off. Turn it back on. And there you go. You can draw power from anywhere on this line. So let me just show you. You can s make the stone generator stop anywhere you want. Anywhere you want. There we go. And that's it. This has been Oni and this has been a block by block tutorial of a clockless stone generator much more efficient and I am going to build this on the lava fall server and thank you for tuning in and kindly tune in for the next video if you're interested in the principles operating behind this stone generator where I explain what's exactly going on okay so till next time this has been Oni thank you for watching and See you later. Bye. Yay. This is a quick design update of uh, that will be added to the ending of Red Electricity episode 14. And it's basically uh, just slight modification if you can clearly see what I'm going to do. And Lava, you have been signed. Bam. This sign blocks the Lava and in case of a spillage down there, you can easily rip you can easily replace the redstone without having to break this you know glass block and having the chance of lava pouring out so there we go slight modification with a sign and thank you for watching till next time see you later bye